Oh, yeah. For that message that's up on the PSN website, they're undergoing maintenance. That is not true. They are not undergoing maintenance. They have been hacked. It's probably a DDoS hack. That means, um, like a... To di- what is it? Direct denial of service or something like that. It's a hack. Um, I mean, I, I speak in, uh, in in GED terms, so I'm going to give it to you as simple as possible in layman's terms. I'm not super, super savvy. But uh, the way I know what the DDoS hack is, you flood a signal, so many, so many signals to a server that it blocks anybody else from entering. It's like clogging a McDonald's with a whole lot of fat people and having them all sit down to eat to where there's just no room for anyone else to come into the restaurant. (laughs) Maybe McDonald's wasn't a good one, but, you know, any restaurant. It's just so many people, so many signals going in there that it's just no room for anyone else to log in. So that's, that's what that is about. Um, and they've been going at it for like 40 some hours, man, like two days. Um, all right, I'll get back to the rest of this. Mm, what's happening out there? Fight fans and gamers and all that good stuff. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy. It's your boy, Lucky Luck, the love of boy, aka a whole lot of things. Right now, I'm kind of tired. So. Apparently, the Lizard Squad, uh, I've done my research, <sighs> and the Lizard Squad, the Lizard Squad, has been attacking um, PSN and Xbox Live for the last, like, 48 hours, Christmas, Christmas, post-Christmas and Christmas. Um, they Apparently, they're going hard at it. Um, Apparently there's some hacker group. I don't know if they're hacktivists or they might be. But there's some hacker group that uh, has it out for whatever. Um, The more and more I dig into it, um, I I mean, I really don't know their motive per se. But um, uh, it seems like Xbox Live is faring way better than PSN. And that could be for two reasons. Um, Xbox Live has been around longer um, Xbox Live, you know, Xbox, Microsoft, I guess, you know, being an American company, I don't know, might have something to do with it, um, but Xbox Live has been, like, kind of working harder to combat this in the past, so they, they're doing better, they, I think, uh, they had, like, a 60-40 kind of thing, um, I think the only way to beat the DDoS hack is to have already been logged in when they started the bullshit. So if you're the type of person who just leave your PS4 or your Xbox One on all day, every day, and you just don't log off and don't get offline, then you probably beat the hack. You probably beat it. And you're probably one of the few people who stayed on. Um, PSN was down like 70% or... Um, like only thirty percent of people were able to stay on PSN. Um, Xbox Live has been doing better than PSN the entire time. I think PSN actually went offline though. I think they kicked everybody off so that they so they could try to figure out a way to combat it. But I don't know. Um, long story short. I might end up having to go back to Xbox. Uh, I had Xbox 360, and um, something happened back in the day. It got stolen, and um, PS3 going online was free, so I said, I'll, I'll give it a try. And I stayed with the PS PS system, PlayStation, and then went over to uh, PS4, and you got to pay for it, just like Xbox. So Xbox has been more established, so, I mean, on, going, your online experience is probably better over at Xbox. Um, I'm considering going back to Xbox now, because, like I said, you got to pay for both of them either way. And uh, Xbox is doing better against hackers and such. Um, not just that, though. I think that a Lizard Squad might 
have been going harder at PS um, PSN at PlayStation um, due to a lot of things that have been going on with Sony. Um, you know, a lot of these hacktivists have their own like little righteous me- meanings behind what they do. And, you know, Sony's been in a lot of controversy, you know, being being kind of fucked up and, and, and assholes and racist and all kind of shit. And um, says a whole bunch of sly, interesting things. And, um, yeah, you know, the, the, the leak of everything, whatever, whatever. Long story short, um, Anonymous said that they're standing up for the gamers, that they're uh, <laughs> trying to fight against the Lizard Squad. Um... I don't know how accurate that statement is, but I mean, everybody, most people are a fan of Anonymous because at the, at the end of the day, Anonymous is a hacktivist group where they help uh, take down uh, Egypt. They help keep Egypt online when their government shut down their internet and um, they were dying and getting shot down on the street and they were, you know, doing their best to just help them out with their with their whole, you know situation over there, you know what I mean? It was, it was a beautiful thing. So at the end of the day, you know, Anonymous, a lot of people are fans of them. They uh, stood up and and fought against the Church of Scientology when they was stalking people and shutting people down. Oh, man. Shoot. Uh, sorry for the interruption, but uh make a long story short, Anonymous is a hacktivist group. They 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 usually link up together. I mean, they go from thousands to possibly millions of people who are a part of it. The whole theme is, you know, it could it could be anybody. So it could be part. It ain't everybody, but it could be anybody. You know what I mean? And it's like, you know, it's just millions of people, just really really computer savvy people who who who, who have things in common and whatever whatever. Um, but it's a beautiful thing, man. Long story short. Um, a lot of people are fans of, of them and uh, their work. And uh, this lizard squad, this hack squad, I don't know exactly what their thing is. I mean, maybe they're just trying to hold Sony hostage. Maybe they're not going as hard as they are at Sony as they are at um, Xbox. They might not be going at Xbox that hard. Xbox is kind of more used to it, so they're doing better with it. I don't really, really, really know. But... um. I don't know, maybe you know. Feel free to leave a comment. It's your boy Lucky Luck, aka the Lover Boy. Um, your favorite boxing vlogger. I'll be fighting on ESPN January 16th. Tune in. Subscribe. All that good stuff. Oh my bad. Boxing vlogger slash gamer on here. You can catch 